welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangled Skeins Crafter. Today I have a collaboration with FG Normal to unbox for you. I cannot talk today, I'm sorry, that sounded awkward. Anyway, FG Normal was kind enough to send me these two cross stitch kits and I am really excited about them. I don't know if you can hear it, but I, one of these I didn't know about the other one, but one of these I've been wanting for a long time. It's been on my wish list for a long time. So I decided whenever they contacted me and said, hey, do you want to do an, you know, a little review for us? And I was like, yes, give me that one. <laughs> so, and then I got one that kind of goes with it. I shouldn't say kind of, it does. All right, so let's get into them. So, start with this one. Possibly the loudest bags I've opened for a while. Okay, comes with the normal kit. It's got a needle threader, poof ball with five needles, and an adjustable thimble. The baggie just has a number seven on it. I should have had a picture up while I was opening that. And it's a much better picture than this one. I'm hoping it looks more like the picture on the site than the picture on this pattern. But this is Howl's Moving Castle. 11 count, three strands, threads, printed cross stitch kit, 40 by 60 centimeters. It's showing at $11.21 on the site. Just, there's ink kind of just splattered. Not splattered, but apparently the ink was either wet when it was folded or damp. I wouldn't say wet because it's not smeared. It's just like little sprinkles of color. Or maybe it has something to do with the printer. I don't know. And maybe that's why this picture looks so... It's just so pixelated and blurry. It looks actually better on my monitor than it does to my naked eye. Let's fold this so it's easier to see. Okay, it has 44 colors. I really wish I could tell when I'm looking at my monitor whether it's doing the weird pixelating thing as I'm moving stuff. I notice on playback sometimes I'll see it. Sometimes it's really bad, so I'm sorry if it's doing that. It looks like it is printed clearly. I don't see any smudging, smearing. Everything's pretty easy to read. Because it's 40 by 60 centimeters, 148 stitches wide by 234 stitches high. Obviously full coverage. This is the warm prompt. I still don't know if that's the company or just what it says when they print stuff, but usually I have no trouble reading their charts. The symbols. It doesn't look like there's any, I'm going to have a lot of issues telling apart, like the greens, those are very different, so those are easy to tell apart. They use a lot of different colors and symbols, so that's nice. Nothing too similar. Okay, let's look at the beta. Oops. There's the thumbnail. The thumbnail is very darker. All the print is very darker than what you're seeing on the pattern. To 
me it's kind of I almost said ugly. I don't, I, I'm not liking how this is looking. But, I mean, how it looks now is not going to affect the end result unless it doesn't wash out for some reason. But look how. I don't know if those are smeared. If I could get it where I want it. Is that two separate symbols? I guess there's a U. Let me look on the paper pattern. Nope, those are all U's. So yeah, it's kind of not smeared, blotchy. It's just blotchy. I'm a little unhappy with that. It looks like it's mostly just the black or the dark colors that turned out kind of blotchy. Almost oversaturated. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but it's like there was too much ink. But I think I'm not going to have too much issue. Ah, that's, I don't like that. Oh, it looks better on my monitor. The colors to my naked eye, that's like a jumble. <laughs> it's a lot clearer on my monitor. But for the most part, not happy with the whole dark blue by black. I wish they hadn't included black at all. I'm not used to seeing black in a lot of these. Not black and dark blue. It's just everything seems so dark. I'll stop complaining. Yeah, I think usually it's just these three. I Usually there's not that. I have to look at some of my other kids. But for the most part, I can see his leg. I think this is his head, his arm, he's holding up something. There's a lot, a lot going on. And his shirt, not as much. Pants, not as much, but still. Looks like there's enough collars that, um, that it's gonna turn out. It's gonna give good detail to the picture show you these. I'm just a little disappointed in the chart or in the the printed canvas. But I don't think it's gonna give me too much trouble. It's just a little a little smeary here and there, a little blotchy. But everything looks like it's in its right square. Nothing's going over into the next one. It's just the blotchiness. But none of that matters if the picture turns out good. If it the image comes out clearly, I'll be happy. Look at this floss. Comes on floss drops, rubber banded together. I will go through later, put them on rings. I put them on binder rings. Keep the bunch. And I'll put like a third. I'll break them up into thirds and put them in numerical order on the binder rings and then put those three on one big one. Or one small one. Whatever. Either way, there'll be four binder rings all together. <laughs> Wow, I cannot talk today. I just had a meeting too. I have a new job coming up and I did the like onboarding call and I was babbling away like an idiot on that too. I get nervous on Zoom, Zoom calls. All right, but I will go through later, put these on biter rings and make sure all the colors are actually there. So far I haven't had any missing any colors, but I say that and watch it 
watch it happen. All right, it looks like there's a couple, like a few vibrant colors. But the rest are more muted, which I think, I don't know, I think I was expecting more of the brighter colors. But looking at the picture, I think the muted ones work well. They're very pretty. It's not coming out as as colorful on my camera. Like this, this is a very pretty almost a greenish blue. Like a what is that? A teal. This is a lovely gray, like a silver gray. It's not coming out too bad. No matter how I adjust the colors on my camera, that on my monitor anyway looks like a very blue blue and this is more of a aquamarine dark teal I am so bad with colors oh there's a really pretty light one if I hold it down here would it make a difference put it against white change anything? Nope. Right, I'll give up. Either way, they're very pretty. Kind of muted compared to what I thought they were going to be. Colors. But they're very... I, lo I like them. They're lovely. Oh, they went through rubber band. Pretty purple. Pretty blues, pinks, oranges, more purples, lots of blues, green blues, gray blues, bright blues, and then I'm going to assume that goes with those, so 3866 because it's not even marked. Looks like it. Maybe. Almost looks slightly different to me. Almost looks shinier though. I don't know. Anyway, there are the colors. Big old mess, but very pretty. I really, I'm going to start this today. I have a class later, a couple classes, but. I have a my new job I have to actually take classes for and pass tests. So I have one of those through Zoom today is gonna last three hours and then I think I'm gonna put off my homework for school and start this because I have been looking forward to doing this one for so long. And I got this a few days ago and hadn't recorded the unboxing. And I really wanted to start it. Anyway, once again, that was How's Moving Castle. $11.21 USD. And this next one says the exact same thing. How's, actually it says How S Moving Castle. 11 count, 3 strands thread, printed cross stitch kit. 40 by 60 centimeters, eleven dollars twenty-one cents. It's two separate listings, but they say the exact same thing. a lot blurrier than the one on this site but the other one was how this one is Sophie if you've ever seen Howl's Moving Castle or read the books you'll know who these two people are if you follow me at all you'll know by now that I love Studio Ghibli I love all their animations and this one's actually my daughter's favorite of all of them I like Kiki's and then this one, I think. And then Totoro. 
I don't know. It's hard to have a favorite. They're all so good. I love all the just, it's, it, it's so detailed and I really hope they come out like, like the pictures. She's just sitting there embroidering. In a window. And there's all kind of just a sewing machine, hats, and material all around her, threads. She has those cute little button up boots. Hats with flowers, hats with ribbons. It's just a lot going on, and I really hope that comes out as I stitch it. This one, hold it this way to make it a little easier, has 48 colors. Sorry, I'm moving it a lot. Forty-eight colors. Again, it is on the form prompt. I don't know if it's a company or what, but chart. Um, I forgot to say, but on uh, both of them, it's the tear-proof paper. Or, I don't know, you might be able to tear it if you really, really try. Then it's got the uh, four colors. What is that? Cyan, magenta, yellow. It's cage is black. Um... very clear. Like I said, I've never had any problems with the charts from this company. I was kind of surprised that it had splotches a little bit on the other one. There's a little bit on this one too. Not as noticeable. More disappointed on how blurry this image is. Like I, said, I didn't say on the other one, it does both of them come with the instructions for cross stitch on the, ch the paper chart. If you've never seen one of these, it shows you how the thread can be divided into six strands. You use three strands for 11 count, two strands for 14 count. It shows, shows you how to get your choose your thread color. It shows you unprinted. Um, the legend and everything and how to stitch on unprinted and then like tips and tricks on caring for it and maintenance and stitching and then the different stitches which most of these are all these stamped ones are usually at most four I think most of them are just the one just the full crosses this is full crosses I'd throw some of that in since I didn't even think to talk about any of that with the first kit. You'd think I'd never opened one of these before. Um, comes with, yeah, same kit. The uh, needle threader, adjustable thimble, the poof ball with five needles. Yeah, one's just trying to fall out. Number seven bag also. I don't put these back in with my kits. I have a drawer full of those now. Let's look at the canvas. I'm just going to always call this a canvas. Now people are probably like, it's a cloth. It's Ada. This one doesn't look too bad. It doesn't seem quite as blotchy as the other one did. The U's are still kind of problematic. And the fact that they're not they're not all clear but it's not still not quite as blotchy I don't know if that's the right word but not as smeared as the other canvas 40 by 60 148 stitches wide by 234 high I just cannot get the whole the whole thing in I'd have to move my camera a lot. It's a good size. I like it. It's the thumbnail. 
lot darker than on the chart. I'm assuming they did the darker colors for maybe better contrast, but I have some kits that have the lighter colors and I actually prefer those. Look at the colors. It's funny that, you know, there's black for the chart, but there's no black in the threads. Eight two three, I use that a lot. Nine three nine, I use that a lot. I'm excited to get this started too. I have a couple classes tomorrow and need to start on my homework, so I might not get to this for a little bit. I want to just do this this big pink area just because it's white might be good to get it out of the way. It's just the window she's sitting in front of. I mean the whole thing is, but there's her looking down, there's her embroidery hoop, her rear, her dress, her boots. I love those boots. That sewing machine. Where's that? It's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, that's part of the window. I just really like this image. She even has like a little box of buttons or something. Or maybe pins. I think it's a box of buttons down here. This is like some kind of notebook maybe? or No, it looks like a bolt of fabric maybe. Anyway, lots of detail. I'm really looking forward to doing this one. And it doesn't look like it's going to give me any issues. Both were surged all the way around. I forgot to mention that too, so no fraying. And it doesn't go through the numbers, that's nice. I mean, usually it doesn't affect if I can read them or not, but occasionally. Again, comes on floss drops. I love floss drops. That's just my preferred. I know they get tangled up and they're hard to manage sometimes, but I don't know why. I just, I really like how it looks. And it's just, I don't know. I just like it. Rubber banded together. Again, it's like a bunch of pretty, but kind of muted colors. Not dull, exactly, you know, just just not as vibrant, not real bright. There's a couple. There's a few nice bright colors. Mostly it's just light and pretty and muted and faded and just depending on which color you look at. And I feel like they're just, it's just my camera is not doing them justice. So if, like if I could slightly add a greenish tint to some of them, it would be more true to life. Maybe I have my camera set a little too cool. Maybe if I could, yeah, I'd probably warm them up a little bit. So if you look at these and then just kind of try to imagine them slightly warmer in tone, I think that would give you more of what I'm seeing with my eyes as opposed to what's showing up on my monitor. Like I said, everybody's monitor is different so you might be seeing these more correctly. It's just so pretty, so rich. Oh, my ring got caught. Such a nice variety of colors. Can you tell I'm just in love with these two kits? <laughs> just really am. I'm disappointed a little bit in the printing, but I don't think any of it will affect my stitching too much. Like I said, it might be a little difficult on that on how a couple of the 
areas on the chart, on the canvas, I mean. I'll have to refer back to the chart on some of them, possibly, but other than that, I think it'll be okay. So once again, that was FG Normal that I collaborated with on these. I'm right now, this could be all the time, but it says free shipping on orders over $49.91, that's USD. Um, Site-wide discount, 20% off, over 40 pounds, get £3.99 off, with code FGN4. FG Normal has diamond painting, cross-stitch, paint by number, tattoo stickers, weaving series, it looks like they have some probably yarn, some knitting tools, they have wax seals, they have blind boxes, and customized cross-stitch and diamond painting. Cross stitch kits go from 9 count to 18 count, counted and stamped, diamond painting accessories, um, diamond crafts, so ornaments, food trays, placemats, coasters, and catchers, stuff like that, keychains. If you have not checked out FG Normal, please go and check them out. There are a lot of really nice kits on this site. There's a lot that I would like. There's a few in the new ones I'm just kind of in love with. They have one called um, Girl Next to Bookshelf that I just, I really want. I will end this here. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know what you thought of the two kits. Have you seen them before? Is it something you would stitch? Do you think they're going to turn out good? Do you think that's enough collars for them as detailed as they are? Just let me know your thoughts. Tell me if you've um, ordered from FG Normal. If I have a discount code, it will be in the discount code section in my description box. Um, I'll have links for both kits in my description box. And I thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.